Rathcast.com presents. <laughs> Welcome back to This Delinquent Life, episode six, maybe? I think uh, this week we're going to be talking about something. uh, It's called the Dunning-Kruger effect. I'm assuming most people don't know what that is because none of... uh, Most people I talk to don't know what I'm talking about when I say it. I don't know. but So I'll explain it using Wikipedia because that's liberal media I trust. I think, because, I don't know, I, I'll i ask, we'll find out later if I, I should trust, uh, the Dunning-Kruger effect is a cognitive bias in which low ability individuals, I think that means stupid people, suffer from illusory superiority, mistakenly assessing their ability as much higher than it really is, uh, dunning and Cougar attribute this to things. You can check it out yourself for the rest. But basically, I think that means that people who are dumb um, and you'd be like, hey, what do you think about uh, construction? Could you build a house? They'd be like, oh, yeah, I could fucking do it, even though they've never built a house. And if you ask like a construction worker, hey, how good do you think you are at building houses? They'd be like, ah, I'm OK. I'm pretty good. Uh, I think it's because like if you're really good at something you meet other people who are really good and then you realize that some people are just incredibly good and then you're like kind of good and you're just like meh but most people are incompetent completely and you don't realize that because you don't work with those people because you're kind of good whereas dumb people never see the really good people because they're dumb and they're not invited i don't know if any of that makes sense but let's bring out our co-host and he can help me out with this thing bino brogdon everybody that was a lot chris did I talk fast? Whoa, um, <laughs> I, you just confused the shit out of me. It was too many words. Uh, you always the, use a lot of words. What's it called again? What's this thing called again? It's called the Kruger Dunning or the Dunning Kruger effect. Dunning Kruger effect. Um, ah, it's this is this is our favorite pastime, isn't it? Just explaining our collective neurosis. Is that that's what we like to do? We just like to have fun. Just, just well, so you say neurosis, but just two seconds. You said my words are big. There's some right. <laughs> well, um, What's neurosis uh, mean for our crowd or pe- for me? Just all uh, right. Just it's a it's a string of WTFness that just isn't all of us. And it's just what does that mean? What the fuck? Well, you, yeah, you put it together. Uh, Come on, what's the name? What's it? What's it, what's it called again? Kruger Dunning Dunning Kruger effect. That's uh, the name of the two scientists who came up with it by doing studies. You wouldn't understand that, would you? You just talk. No, out I say, I think we see it. I think we see it a lot in a lot of elements in life. Like we, it's people, real. People think they're more capable and able of doing stuff that maybe they're not capable of, and then you know, like maybe, coworkers and things, co-workers, open mic comedians. You know, we I think we. <laughs> Us <laughs> comedians. No, I'm amazing. <laughs> See, exactly. You suffer from the Dunning no. Kruger effect, clearly. Well, clearly. it depends what you're judging me on. But like this was done more specifically on individual traits, I would imagine. Like, um, you know, well, like uh, their abilities on math or English, and then when they take their look at their test scores, they're like, "Wow, you're stupid. Why would you even think you're good at math? Like, you don't even know how fractions work." We're trying to explain the neurosis of a uh, species of primates. Uh, we're always the super monkeys. Like, come on, it's 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 no rhyme or reason to this shit. Sometimes, sometimes no, you scra- but then clearly there's like rhyme and reason, or maybe not rhyme and reason, but there's patterns and trends. We're just intelligent. Like can- we're just intelligent. But intelligence doesn't mean it's necessarily smart. Like we just we have our idiosyncrasies in in this society because this this study was only uh, used. With American participants, so this is actually a uh, specific where to do you, American where do you culture. Live? Me, yeah, personally, yeah, in Philly, duh. So America, so yeah. it matters to us. 
I didn't say it doesn't. I didn't say it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just saying. saying it's, just, it's just a funny. You act like everything's whimsical. I'm showing got, you a who, study. Well, it's whimsical. Things intricacy. Blah blah blah. Let's bring on our. Yeah. Wait. Uh, you can call in too and talk yeah, to us. See, yeah. What you got to say about this? Uh, you Come can. On, yeah. I'll, and ask me no questions that he can't just start talking about Jesus somehow. Or you didn't even bring up Jesus. I didn't even bring up Jesus. But it sounded like Jesus words to me. Oh, we have a Jesus relative. But you can call in at a one eight seven seven five eight seven six eight three three, and oh, you can wow. also do. I found out there's a live chat. Th- thing you can do and you can chat because people are doing that before and i didn't know they told me about it but apparently that's the thing i can look at it now and i can actually answer your sh- things or quite or you could just say angry comments I'm going those live. are we're gonna go live chris our bino is always up but let's bring on our our guest our first guest he's not he i haven't seen him in a while but he looks healthy enough i guess he's eating let's Mate, you are right. Let's give it up for Mike Alloy. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Is it a walk-on mic? I feel like I fucked it up. No, you're great. Sweet. <laughs> What'd you do wrong? The walk-on. The only one thing I've done, I did so far. No, I, I was. You're great. Thank you. So, what do you think about just what? Just in general? No, I think about this, the I think Dunning, show... Dunning Kruger effect. Oh, okay. Or uh, in general, go. <laughs> Well, in general, I think the show is hosted. I think you guys have like a nice, uh, like a cop body routine. But even though you guys look more like criminals than cops, I think that's a funny thing concept for the show. Well, I criminals like have. Good I'm jealous bodies. of Bino because he gets to use the word uh, "super monkeys" to describe people, and none of us can do that in the room. <laughs> I it's such that. a fun word to say. What can we do? You, you, can, you, you, you can use the word super monkey to describe people, and none of us can say that about uh, other people. No, uh, no, I'm giving you, uh, is, is there, there is no melanated con- context, context, ah, there is no melanated. Stop trying to use big words. There man. is just, no, just, there is no context that has something loud, to do. relax. Oh, all right. It's a small man concept. Bino is tiny. Bino is like, people, a lot of people don't know this, but Bino is like five foot nothing. Everyone knows he is, this. <laughs> Bino is five, legally, none of your listeners know. Yeah, yeah. no, that's his None of your profile. listeners know this fact about oh. Bino because it's a fact about Bino and nobody knows Bino, but. Nobody knows Bino. That is the it, only thing accurate you said so far. I, Thank you. They all know he's short if they listen to me because I say <laughs> it at least four <laughs> times um, an hour, and even when that Bino's not around. So it, it, that's like your sponsor. You guys are sponsored by Bino's Bino. shortness. Do you, yes. So yes. what do you feel about Doug and, what is it? Dunning Kruger effect. Dunning Kruger. I, what do I feel about it? I feel like it's a, I, it makes sense to me. I, I mean, dumb people are dumb, so they don't know how dumb they are. It's really, it's that simple. They don't need like, <laughs> this Wikipedia page is like 50 pages. I kind of just summarized them in one sentence because I'm, I'm fucking good at this. Well, because science is better than you, so it's That's more complicated. So well, no, but, but I think... Uh, you have to, like... Because just to prove that dumb people are dumb so they are dumb, you have to, like, type 20 pages because think, dumb people are dumb. Oh, but I think, it's, it's, I think it's just general IQ, though, right? It's not, like, in specific skills. Like, if you're just uh, overall dumb... You think you were better at every like specific thing? You know, no, mean, no. It, that's what it, I, I think. think, they, right. break it, I think they, they break it down to even like I, I think I've read somewhere they did studies where it was like on video games, like Tetris. Mm-hmm. Like if you ask somebody, uh, you think you're good at Tetris? Somebody who's like not good at Tetris would just assume they are. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So but, even it happens to even smart people. So like even smart, a, so even the smart people so are dude, dumb. So a dude with 120 IQ who is like smart dude, but he's never played Tetris in his life. And like, yo, do you think you can be good at Tetris? He's like, yeah, I'm going to be good at Tetris. Yeah. Oh, shit. And, well, and, a, and a lawyer who, who's like really good at, um, you know, he went, he's got his high LSAT scores and all that. He'd be like, oh, yeah, I could be a doctor. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, they just assume, and, and maybe that's also because they're smart, they go that way. Right, 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 right. So it's not just dumb people doing it, but it's like, because uh, not everyone's good at every skill, right? No, is that a fact? Because you guys are saying, like, you guys know this. Well, this is what I know, because I actually had a stu- I went to I, college I somehow. <laughs> Because I, I get, I'm, I, I'm, I'm claiming right now I don't know. This is the, the, the reason why they have me on the show. They don't want people who know things. That's why they didn't tell me about the topic. Well, uh, we, we don't. Mind. Wants, Sometimes like, we get surprised and people actually know what we're like. We did one about nutrition and we had a person who lost like a hundred, hundred pounds. pounds. We right. didn't know. I wasn't acquainted. I wasn't acquainted with this term until like today at what three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, that's a good, cool story, man. But uh, so most people don't know. Well, <laughs> I don't know shit about. This do, you, do you get acquainted with terms? I feel like you get acquainted with people. You you get familiar with terms. You don't because uh, like, when you acquaint, you make an acquaintance of someone. Tomato, tomato. No, it's it's language. It's a synonym, just capturing the same feeling. Fair, touche. You guys are great with yeah, words. 
But uh, so, where did you grow up? Northeast I, in, or Russia? Uh, I both. I, I came. To, I came to Northeast Philly when I was eleven. So I still had some growing up left to do. You don't want you become a man when you're eleven. Even if you grew up in Russia, you're still not a man. But I thought 11. that's when you guys like cut a bear's head off and become uh, men. I do that. I, I grew up in. A, my parents were doing illegal shit, so I grew up in a fairly Jewish family, which is pretty much like the same as growing up in America. Well, it wasn't bad. Though. But like, what what part of Russia? Saint Petersburg, nice part. I like how that goes hand in hand. Like they were doing legal shit, just so they were rich. Well, that's how. Yeah, if you if your parents do legal shit in Russia, you're all right. <laughs> that's why they do legal shit. They don't mean that's legal shit for for a living, and then like you still you, and you're still <laughs> shitty, and your yeah. life is still terrible. Yeah, sounds that's like awful. sounds like over here. Well, you gotta pay the bills. That is true. That so, is. uh, yeah. But did you? So you were 11 when you got here? Yeah. And the Northeast, were you around all Russian people in the Northeast? I've, um, a lot. I, too many. I wasn't around too many. It's like a fucking village. It really is, man. It's uh, That's why I had to get the fuck out of there. It's uh, Everybody knows everybody, and everybody talks shit about everybody. That's the Northeast I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been yeah, on it's a all constant bad. decline since you got there, I think. It's 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 all my fault. Yeah, it's not my fault. It's your fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you entirely. know about the Northeast? No, this is very depressing, though. You're not get, This is not a good look for Northeast right now. No, it's doing great in Northeast. That's why Trump no, wants to you, make it You great guys are not the spokespersons Dude, for Northeast. I, uh, I, I'm back you in just Northeast. Got fired. I was about to say, I am, I am back in Northeast for a weekend. Man, all, just all Trump signs everywhere. Just all Trump signs walking me back. Walking me back home. That's my the guy. Northeast we know. Yeah, no, we, do, we, 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 we talked about earlier. We don't want to talk about the election. Does that's Trump, the whole point of does, this. What, does Trump? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Let's bring Kruger effect. Let's bring right, does next. Trump or Clinton have? Never mind. All right. They yeah. have a lot of yeah, Kruger Dunning yeah. fans. Uh, let's give it up for our next guest. He does things. Let's give it Andrew Fox. Yo, Fox. What's up? What's up, man? I do things. Um, Dunning Kruger effect. Yeah, I got that. What do you think? I think it's uh, true because I got it. Hmm. So you think you're great at everything? Or I just think something? I'm great at everything, but you got I'm the, not. You got it. What's the, it? The, the effect? You got yeah. the effect? Like I work at a grocery store and I think I'm better than that grocery store and I shouldn't be there, but there's really nothing else I could do. Well, what? That's, 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 <laughs> so, that's, good. that's the American way. So I think I got it. This, well, I, this, this study should be renamed the American effect. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a good thing. The American dream. That's a thing. Should we that's talk about thing. that, Alan? That's a Dunning-Kruger. <laughs> sure. Uh, like, so you think you have it? Yeah. Do you think your parents had it? Is it uh, genetic? Of course, yeah. I mean, they work? thought they could raise me, but they obviously couldn't because I work at a grocery store. <laughs> you have a job. That's better than being in prison. That's true, but, you know, that could be next. That could be next. You never know. It's a slippery slope. That's yeah. true. Ninety percent of people who commit crime do work in grocery stores. That's, that's true. true, yeah. It's not hey, how facts. far... I start stealing apples to bring home to my family, and then, you know, you never know. Dude, how, yeah, bagging groceries is, like, not that much better than uh, peeling potatoes. <laughs> Which is what you have to do in prison, really. Yeah. So it's, it's very, no, it's, it's very comparable. No, it's way worse. Fake kid. Oh, I've never been, I, I never bagged groceries. I tried it once, and it was not for me. Yeah, one time I did it, and uh, I actually, I work in produce now, but I used to bag groceries, and I put uh, eggs on top of grapes. I got yelled at. By who? The management the, or the lady? The lady. But then she still tipped me. They tip people. Isn't this the Dun and Kruger effect? You're a construction worker and you said you can't you can't bag groceries? <laughs> isn't this <laughs> isn't this exactly what we're talking about? No, there's about? an art. There's an art to that's it. That's the opposite. I think, that's I think the, it's the opposite. opposite. I know I'm not good at a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, if he was like a social worker. Like I'll tell idea. you right now, I'm not good at opening doors. I'm not good at opening curtains. Yo, doors are tough. Can we talk I about this? Sometimes I break things. I just don't know how strong I, I want am. To... You can lay bricks and drill asphalt. Yeah, as long as you have to focus and I have to be high sometimes. You, you got to be high? It, I have to be in the right state of mind mentally, and I'm good at things. To open the door? Uh, to do <laughs> most things. Okay, fair enough. But we just talking about construction, like uh, like glazing windows or doing things like that or taking out walls. Can you build a but door? we don't want our valet drivers getting drunk and blitzed off of weed uh, before they do their job, right? I, I don't know. I've never... I, I'm sick of being judged by regular people. It's <laughs> like, regular <laughs> people suck at things, so they ruin it for me. Like, this I can get drunk life. and do my job. Who uh, do you want to get judged by? Huh? Who do you want to get judged by, if not regular people? Like, no, who, who like, get, get regular people by? fuck up everything, right? Sure. It's not, it's not a judge. It's not a judgment. It's that... Your your conduct and your productivity is impaired when you're on drugs. That's, that's 
Yeah. Not everybody. Not, some people not can do true. it and some people can't. And because most people can't, people like me that are gifted get fucking judged. Right. You clearly, and I can't get DUI. Now I can get a DUI. You clearly don't suffer from the Dunning-Kruger effect at all. right? Now. I mean, I'm sure I do in some things, but most things I'm pretty good. We have a question from my name is not Tim on the chat. Uh Roulette. This is in um, chat. What is, well, my yeah. name is not Tim. I don't I know, who know Tim why is. Mike Alloy ha- hacked the election. That's funny. That's a Russian I think joke. It's I like it. That's not a Russian <laughs> joke. That's it's racism. Joke. Racism. <laughs> racism. That's this show does not endorse racism, even though I don't really? like the Russians either. No, we're we're all we that's have a true. Russian. A, uh, what do you consider yourself? An elf. <laughs> <laughs> there are dark yo, elves. I never said that. I don't. I don't even. You don't never even, called yourself an elf. Yo, stature is not even in my identity. Like I don't even. You I, don't I, even I keep, see I, height. I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting that till you say the shit. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm a small guy. You need more mirrors. I'm a, I'm a shrimp. <laughs> right. nah. No more height. So what I'm do you think me. about? Do you have a response for this person? Uh, nah. I, it's, it's, it's so hacky. First of all, I don't want to talk about the election. It's, it's kind of a hacky joke. I don't know. Well, it's hacky. If, Is if that I, a if hacky I were, pun on the hacky joke? If, if I were, here's the thing. If I, were, no? if I were to hack the election, why would I do it for the most like, like the walking symbol of capitalism? Who's that? Trump. Uh, Trump. It's, yeah. it's span, right. He's like the walking like symbol. <laughs> He's like capitalism personified. Right. Why would I have the Russian guy fucking <laughs> <laughs> hack it for him? But how can we love like Bruce Wayne though? <laughs> how can we love Bruce Wayne but we hate? Because he fights crime. He's fight, uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's that part. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you, did you just compare Donald Trump to Bruce Wayne? Yeah, because you know, that's the only cool billionaire I like. Is well, that, like, I mean, there's that's a the... bunch of billionaires. Like the Penguin was a billionaire, right? He looks more like I don't the know, Trump. He's not nobody. Mm. Yo, no billionaire does Mike. it for me like Bruce. I don't like. Yeah, because the Muslims don't fight crime. We really have. I have. I think I've answered the question. Do I like that's kind of, who, who, who else we got on the only, show? Who else do we have on the show up, coming yeah. up now? Well, I'm not done talking to Andrew Fox. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> and Mike Alloy. What does the it? Fox have to say? That's Sorry. a, that, that's <laughs> a yeah. hacky joke. That is. That's why I, I love those what's jokes. What's that? Uh, wh- what do you think about the Cubs winning the World Series? Oh, that was cool. Why are you wearing a hat? Are, are you from Chicago? I'm from Chicago. And hmm. actually, uh, I went to the parade on Friday. How was that? That was cool. Were they a lot excited? of people getting high, yeah. You from Chicago? Yeah. Oh, Were you shit. born there? Yes, I was. You moved oh. to Philly to bag groceries. That yeah, that's the dream, you know. <laughs> American dream. Duncan Kruger. Do they not have? Do they, have do they don't have grocery stores in uh, Chicago? No. Oh, okay. We can't waiting. afford Whole Foods in Chicago. No, they can't. It's all sausage. <laughs> So how long were you waiting to win a World Series? Since uh, birth or three or seven? Yeah, yeah, some yeah since birth. Yeah. Since birth. Yeah. yeah. So no, you were a Cubs fan, but yeah, like, did, did, you, did you give a shit when White Sox won the World Series or that did not affect you, though? You know, I'm not really a sports fan. It's all for hometown pride, so I was pretty excited for the Sox win, too. That oh, was, okay. Yeah. I'm a hack. That's that's fair. Yeah. At least at least you're honest about it. Yeah. Yeah, no, because I, I feel like a lot of people, like, at least you admit it. Like, a lot of people, like, you know, they, they're, like, Cubs fans. But then they, you, you were still drinking with the no, White Sox have, one. That's yeah, a whole yeah, different exactly. team. Who you, who, what team you grew up on? Me? I'm, I'm all Philly. Oh, I'm, I'm Philly. Right. Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all Philly. Is there, like, a good, like, St. Petersburg hockey Dude, team? They're, they're actually the best team right now in the whole of Russia is the St. Petersburg team. The hockey team or soccer? Yeah. Uh, the hockey team. The soccer, they were good. They got good as soon as I left. They How got really Russian good. So you still follow were... through with the hometown? You still A keep little up? bit here and there, yeah. Do they have, like, club leagues? Like, in yeah, other yeah, yeah. like So it's like St. Petersburg has, like, one club team for yeah, all the yeah. sports? Yeah, so, so, so St. Petersburg has one team for each, and then Moscow has, like, four or five clubs for each sport because Moscow is fucking huge. So and Moscow's then, yeah. like the Yankees? Depends. For a while it was, yeah. I think they had like a. Uh, Mo- when I was growing up in Russia, the number one soccer team was uh, Moscow. Moscow Sp- uh, Spartan was the, n- the name. The Spartans. They were the, the, they were really good. And then the when Spartans I- like from three hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, Russian names yeah. shit off the same shit we named shit yeah. off. Yeah, Russian well, sports no, so, so, And then my team. The, the How's same, it, it pronounced was- in Russia? Spartak. Spartak. That's pretty close. And then uh, Spartak. And then uh, the Russian, and then uh, my team uh, was called uh, it's, uh, Zenith. Zenith. Zenith, like the TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the t- well, it's, it, I forgot what it's called, but it's like It means Zenith. something like, yeah, like but I think cultural it's, I think, bullshit. If I'm not mistaken, I could be, again, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. That's why they have you're me here. You're not supposed to but know what Zenith, you're talking I, about. I think, I think in, in Russian terms, it's like a, it's like a land-to-air missile. is Zenith. And that's why they, they named like, the sports team after that. I think in English it means that. like precipice. Like, is that a word? You know what that means, Vino? Yeah, I, 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 I was lost five minutes ago. <laughs> Z, it's like, uh, 
Z- Great Awakening type thing. Like he has no bah, idea. Bah, 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 yeah, he still doesn't. He, he still doesn't get the concept of there being sports in Russia. Like that might. <laughs> he's just my. There's what's in Russia? Sports. I no, I, I know. Him. Oh, him. I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. He's there still a lot confused. of black people. Oh, there's, there's a lot. <laughs> a lot of can we get? Can Yo, we get the next guest on? How tall? Well, one second. How tall do you think Vladimir Putin is? Uh, five six. That's close. Oh. He's how short. He's short. Five five. He's five seven. Yeah, I'm taller than that. Yeah. How tall do you think Donald Trump is? Uh, five eight, six, six one, six, six one. one, six two. Six oh fuck! He claims to be six three. I I investigated this. I didn't buy it. <laughs> He's actually six two. Apparently, it's I, there's a whole obesity thing. I don't know. Trump's weird. Let's <laughs> <laughs> let's bring up our guest, our final guest tonight. Hopefully, some people call in. I think we're gonna have some calls later. But let's give it up for uh, this guy. He's um, Brian Durkin. Brian Durkin. <laughs> Welcome, Brian. Straight out of somewhere. Yeah, straight out of somewhere. <laughs> so what do you think about the Dunning-Kruger effect? Uh, I think it's a, a really great effect. Are you for or against it? I'm for <laughs> it. Would uh, you vote for Proposition 10? <laughs> Ooh, uh, no. I don't, because I don't know what that is. So he hates gay people. <laughs> uh, no, I made up Proposition 10. But no, what do you think about the Kruger Dunning, Dunning-Kruger effect? Uh, I think it's real interesting. I think it's, uh, it's a cool effect. I think <laughs> it uh, has lots of effects on people. It's an Instagram uh, chat filter. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a. Uh, I've, I've, I've definitely experienced it. I, uh, I've, uh, I've seen both spectrums. I've overconfidently been like, I can definitely do a cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> and, I've, and I've also been like, oh yeah, everyone can get to this stage in beer tapper at arcade, right? Like, like I, you know, just, just like the other side of the yeah, effect yeah. is like that's still right. part of the effect. Yeah, is like when right. you are good at something, you just think like it. That part of the Kruger effect, uh, ex- I feel like explains why I feel like I'm an imposter at every job that I managed to like hold down for a minute. Cause I'm like, why are they paying me for this? It feels too easy. <laughs> like, can't anyone like, do this? You, you no, life. Like, yeah. Yeah. I talked to a lot of people that, that work and they're just like amazed by how little they do. And they're just like, what the fuck am I even supposed to be doing? Yeah. And they're just like sitting there like, why do they even need a person? Why do they yeah. feed me? Yeah. But then they don't get paid anything anyway. That's how I feel. That's how I think how most people feel with like a blue collar job. If you just like, yeah. Cause you, I, you do just sit there and like, that's not a blue collar job. That's I'm sorry, like white, collar, white, white collar, collar, white yeah. collar. I do apologize. Because I like actually yeah. rip things out of walls. I don't, I don't feel accomplished at the yeah, end. Yeah, no, of the that's day. that's the great, that's the great. Uh, I feel like I, it's you sleep better when it, you're busy in your brain and your arm. It's the know. most unfair thing in life, man. Is like you, you guys work way harder than like we do, and then we get paid way more. Yeah, man. Depending on the job, that's there's true. a lot. Of, I mean, union jobs make bank. That's true. And, and um, data entry sucks. And I mean, I've had a cubicle job, and I've had construction jobs, and I've. What made, was your cubicle job? I've worked for insurance companies. No shit. Yes. Same beard. Uh, no. <laughs> well, what I do is I shave up when I get the job, and then I'm good enough where they can't not fire me, and then I just look like a mess. <laughs> Because I'm better than most <laughs> idiot workers. Yeah. Most people are terrible at just scanning papers. <coughs> yeah. Like, I was so good. At, you have no idea. I was so good at scanning papers for this cubicle job. They were just like, this is your job now. So I was just getting paid like 45 grand a year to scan papers. Shit. <laughs> to the point where I was like, now nah, I got to go. Like, I'm going to shoot myself. Yeah. Because you're just in this back room, and then this asshole comes up, like, hey, scan this, scan mm-hmm. that, scan this. And then some person with dentures falling out, and it was a mess. And uh, you just want to like I don't I wouldn't shoot up an office place, but I was getting drunk at lunch every day. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, you know think everybody you? could do this job though? Did you think everybody could do that job? Yes, I think a fucking monkey could do the job, and I don't understand why the fuck they were paying me good money to do it. And at the same time, I was still like, oh, it's not worth it. But then people, people were fucking up, like you said, right? I uh, yeah, they're uh, so yeah. how how so how, how are people fucking up? That's my question. How are people like they're just slow and that's, stupid? That's the effect. And that's they're the effect. just that's the effect. So, and no, 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 so no, no. Just, that no just you ask any of those people, hey, do you think you're good at your job? They would say yes. Oh, they were all the, the most fucking obnoxious twats. Yeah. They all <laughs> thought they knew everything. Yeah. Oh, mm. I hope that. Uh, and how you, you know? You know what? How did you feel about yourself? I felt very confused and frustrated, and I was um drunk. I was drunk. Drunk, were you drunk with maybe, power? Maybe because you, were you were drunk. Maybe that was at, like helping you be confused because you were drunk. I it was helping me survive. <laughs> I think you have to be good at the job because the job is so such an easy job. 
you kind of just gotta get drunk and like shut off all the creative part of your mind that like wanders somewhere else. Uh, sure, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. don't, you know what I mean? So you can, you know, so you don't get distracted by anything else carrying those papers. Do? Yes, yeah. It's the same reason like why like I drive better after I drink. You know what I mean? So you don't wander somewhere else. You can just focus on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better. but see, we're one percenters. We can do incredible things <laughs> other people can't. So they. We get outlawed against doing them. Exactly. And I'm not okay with it. Now, like, Vino to... can't do that. No, no, no. no so th- th- I'm glad you said that. I think... I got <laughs> skills. This is interesting. This is this is like the fallacy of how having expectations. That's all this effect is. Like, we we feel that we have enough competence or intelligence in a certain area, but then we maybe don't actually have that. Order. Well, I'll tell you this. If you know what you're worth, you could get away with, like, cursing at your boss. And that's how, like, if you could show up with sweatpants and hide a, a job and they invite you back, then you're doing something right. Like, there's a way to gauge your skill set. If you're like, I want to raise, and they give you one, then you got to be good. Or at least you convince them you're good. Yeah. So there's ways to find out. It's just most people are afraid of confrontation and asking for raises and doing things. Not true. But you, right. if you want to know where you stand in life, just fucking be like, hey, fuck you. And if they want to ever talk to you again, then you probably, like, mean something to them. <laughs> mm. Does that make any sense? No, no right? absolutely. No, 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 that makes, it makes total it sense. Makes but sense at all. Because I've no, no, worked jobs where I knew I was better than everyone at a certain task. Yeah. Not at the whole job. Where to the papers. point where no one... <laughs> that, that, that job was scanning papers. Another job, Red Lobster. I was making cheese biscuits. <laughs> why, are we, why are we relegating this conversation to a job and labor, though? Because we're talking about skills and things that you can identify. Like, I'm yeah. only talking about things where I know for a fact I was faster because I could time it and look, and I'm, I'm observing. Like, I've lived it. I know I was better than these people. Yeah. No, the management but, knew I was better than these no, people. No, let me, let me play that with Avocado. Now, do you think you, you were maybe just the only person who gave a shit about how fast you scan papers? Like, everybody else was just like, dude, I do not give a fuck about scan. Because that's me. Oh, like, if, you, if you ask line. me to scan papers, I would suck at it. I know I would suck at it because I'd be like, dude, I don't give a fuck about your papers getting scanned. Do you but think I will, I, I, will, I, will, I will watch, I have to watch wrestling videos. Look, and, do you and, think and, I was trying and, hard and, and on ba- rap battles? Hey, before I, I've um, never scanned papers, but I tell you right now, I'd be fucking great at scanning papers. <laughs> I would be the best. I would scan all the papers. I'm do so I look like a that. person would try really hard at scanning papers? Well, you're getting pretty worked up about it. You are, right? <laughs> yeah, Thank you, you are. Because <laughs> you gave me very terrible terrible Your life's ambition was to be a paper. <laughs> no, but it was just amazing to me that yeah. like I just did it one day, and they're like, "Wow, you're like really fast." I'm just like, "Really? <laughs> like I was fast? Like yeah. I was like, I, I thought it was the machine. Doing, I was fucking. <laughs> I was talented. taking cigarette breaks. <laughs> you're gifted, man. I know. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. I'm a one percenter. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh what? Four foot two or per seven? <laughs> Is that, are we talking about whole milk? Uh, <laughs> what are we talking about? What so, are we talking about? This delinquent life, y'all. This delinquent life. Uh, so did anyone else talk to us? Maybe yeah, more happy jokes. Was going on the chat. No, just this. What, this, my this, name what is chat Tim. is this? What, we what, shut. We shut Tim, not Tim, down, mm-hmm. and no one wants to speak at us now. <laughs> or just is this shit? Is this shit? It's the you stream chat. Oh. You can you stream it. How many do we know? How many views we having? Who's right winning? now, we can yeah. check. How do, many do, people are listening? Who's winning? Who's winning? <laughs> who's, who's winning? <laughs> Chris, we know that already. But anyway, one, um, one guy. We have one nice. viewer. Sweet. No, that's not it. He's looking it up. <laughs> oh, okay, one, one, one second. Well, I know we have at least my name is not Tim. No, I think good. he not anymore. He not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We, don't, I don't, we all called him a hack. Bill, he I don't want to do election results. <laughs> he says and clicks on it. Let's see. I don't want to. Whoop. You can't. Don't look at that. Yeah, page. I want to. So I want to. Um, don't some, look. Don't some look key, at election results. Some key takeaways. No. Some key takeaways from that uh, Wikipedia article. What'd you call it? You just call it. Yeah, Wikipedia. Wikipedia. I thought you said Wikipedia. All right. Uh, their research also suggests corollaries. Corollary, corollary, there it is. Yes. High ability individuals may underestimate their relative competence and may erroneously assume that tasks which are easy for them are also easy for others. So basically, right. I'm just trying to tell you guys I'm really high functioning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, 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 basically, like, it's the reason why like Asian people are not dex about things. You know what I mean? Like if Asian people knew how smart they were, they would just be like intolerable. But they're very humble. Very yeah. humble people for the most part. 
even though they're like amazing in math and reading and pretty much everything. That's because they're you, this, you brainwashed at youth by their parents that they're nah, terrible mm-hmm. at everything. This is brainwashed. No, like, you're nah. all brainwashed oh, as babies man. against our will with things I don't understand. <laughs> I believed in Santa Claus. You know how ridiculous that is. Yeah, it's why weird. did they yeah. teach me? See, I get angry about everything. That's yeah. just scanning paper. I'm getting scared. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's it's a right. story. It's a story. <laughs> so, how long have you been in Philly? Are we weird? No, I've been here since I was nine, so I've been here. You're used to it. I'm a little used <laughs> oh, to it. Man. Oh, man. not from... If you, if you came here when you were nine, you are from Philly, I feel so like. So you're from Philly, That's too, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, if no. I didn't have this accent, I wouldn't... Nobody... Yeah. Your mind would be so much easier. I consider myself to be from Philly. More That's than I'm from Russia. There I are got people accent, born... I have to fucking... There are third-generational Northeast people who don't speak English proper. <laughs> or, but you speak better than them. Do I speak English good? No. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like, there are people like, uh, third, like, especially, uh, I don't know about Russians, but Chinese, like, they were raised in third generations here and they, they're still. Well, they don't have to. Yeah, they're, they're still good at math. Some of my people still don't yeah, know how to they, speak English. Well, we're all working on it. Collective, no, the government gave up on us a long time ago. <laughs> but us, I, 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 I think us five I'm great. specifically, or us, the people. You're doing great. I'm, I am. Do you see the sweater? This is a successful sweater. That's a nice sweater. It makes Thank you look like you voted for somebody. Red. It's, you know what? It's, it's a sweater full of mysteries. You don't know. You don't know. Am I? Am I? Like? Am Are I either like a liberal father, or I'm just like a dick? Them, uh, just or a, a dick. Republican I'm dick. Going with just yeah. Republican dick. So you don't know. I'm, I'm either. Yeah. Were you going dick. to like a club or something? <laughs> Nobody wears the sweater to a club. No. What club clubs do you go to? I don't go to clubs. Look Fair at enough. Me. That's <laughs> not true. clubs. Ah. Did you say Nazi? There's a lot of Republican dicks in it. Did not be. Hey, He's it. not invited to a comedy club. You would wear it to the turf club. club. I go to clubs. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, don't, don't. What's a me. turf I'm club? Like... Oh, there's more people talking to us. No, oh. I um. Oh, it is what? Where? Oh, somebody said five. Somebody oh, guessed at Bina's height. It's thinner. With... In any case, I did want to say. What well, up, TG? Uh, M, is that what I am? I'm five four. I'm five four. I think so. What do you mean? You I don't know, how do you not know? Always... You don't know how wait, wait, wait. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on. Yeah. You don't know how high you are? Yeah. How I'm high I am? Well, I don't think <laughs> Amber knows that. I'm you don't know how there. tall you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm around there. What do you mean yeah. you're around there? <laughs> I'm around there, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know how I know my height. I'm like 5'4", I think. What do you mean you think? I don't know. It's been a while. Do you so I, don't know how much I, I don't know how much I weigh neither. Do you go to a doctor's? <laughs> yeah, but f- wait, no, 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 wait. T- wait, your height fluctuates. Your height stops. How old are you, Bino? I'm 5'4 on my driver's license. How old are you, Bino? I'm 34. Okay. Now, when was the last time you measured your height? Because it has not changed in the past 15 years, probably. It probably hasn't changed in the last 20 years. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Okay, so yeah. you're Vladimir Putin height. Yeah. 6'2". <laughs> so you're Donald Trump height. Boss. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I want you both to stand up. And you know, I like to take my shirt off and ride both? horses. <laughs> That's America. Yo, yeah. yo Chris, yeah. you know what? I found this interesting, this effect. Yeah. It's a thread in all of us. It's a thread in all of us, right? Cause look, this is Wait, how tall are you, Alan? I'm not done with heights. Right. I'm 5'9". Your heights. So you are the shortest, even if you're 5'6". Obviously. Look, look it well, says... I'm taller than... Some of you. Can I oh, say cool. this? This is a big part of this effect, right? All right. People Go for fit, it. The subject fail to recognize their own lack of skill, fail to recognize the extent of their inadequacy, fail to accurately gauge skill in others, recognize and acknowledge their own lack of skill only at their exposure. Oh, to you see that, that in, t- in Trump a lot, right? <laughs> right? Because sure. you'll, you'll so say, I think you see that in all of us, right? No, I'm great. No, I think just <laughs> the, most <laughs> people suck. <laughs> I haven't been saying that this whole episode. Dumb people don't know how dumb they are because they're yeah, dumb. That, that's thank, like, you, it, thank you, yeah, that's, that's thank you, thank you. That's one of the beautiful quotes. Said. I think it expands though. I really do. Like I think it just also cross generational. Like the thing I was talking about earlier, like with Socrates, or was it Socrates? It was one of these. Yeah, say it again. I bet you don't remember. One it's of these good. Greek people yeah. who slept with their ki- kids, but whatever. That was history. They didn't sleep with their kids. They slept with other kids, like normal people. Don't make them out to be weird. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. they were also taught them things like how to write. Right. Yeah. In right, Greek. Right. Sure. With alphabets. And that's, that's, that's what you have to do. That's See? what you have to do. That's what you have to give a good yep. oral sex. There you go. You need very, all very young age. And that's what you have to do back in the day. If you want, <laughs> you want to learn an alphabet, you have if to suck an old man's dick. dick. Yeah. That's what's just the thing. That <laughs> <laughs> and really yeah. you appreciate the letters and the numbers <laughs> <laughs> so much more. That was like the shirt. I feel like 13. I had to suck so many dicks just to be able to count to 13. Well, they believe. 
back then they believed in oracles and things, right? And they go to Oracle, and this dude went to uh, Oracle, and he's and they told him that he was the smartest person alive, and he was like, "I don't believe that. That's crazy." Do you, do you, do you know that for sure? Or did you see a movie? No, I, I, feel, like, I feel like this is so- he's right. dropping some Socrates <laughs> on us right now. No, not about Oracle. You can, I don't think there were any Oracles. They say Jared Forgo is the modern day the Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is all true. Google it. This is I went to college no, for like uh, it's all the conversation. <laughs> things, sociology, philosophy. But yeah, there's a book, The Republic. You can read that. You ever read that one? I heard of it. All okay, right. well, but it was whatever. Plato. Plato wrote it, right? Plato. Plato. Hey, yeah. And then who was his teacher? Soccer, soccer right. I don't know shit. But there's a whole bunch of these guys, right? But this is a story I heard. Now, yeah, it's kind of like fairy tale-ish because that's how the Greeks were. They fucking like, you read the Iliad, obviously. <laughs> they yeah. make, it's weird. Whatever. So <laughs> They love having a long conversation. And, and I saw, too, that the oracles might have actually been real and told them shit because they were tripping on natural gases, the caves they found where the oracles were at. Mm. Like, the oracle of Delphi was a real thing. It's not okay. just a mis- mi- But, you know, I... Get Go high and watch some uh, Discovery things, and you'll learn. You know, <laughs> they're really good at watching a lot of things. National Geographic. So wait, what What did we learn? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what is exactly. what I'm saying? So Socrates went to this fucking Bell Oracle guy, lady. Yes. Oracles are ladies. If you didn't know that, read about it. Stop by PGW. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that was the thing. So the Oracle said he was the smartest person in the world. He said, that's crazy. I don't believe it. So he went around. He started talking to, like, the lawyers at the time and the doctors and the architects. And every time he talked to one of them, he'd ask, like, the architect, well, what do you think? What would you do about, like, uh, politics? What would you do if you were governor? What would you do? And and they would have all these ideas, and they would keep talking, even though they knew nothing about it. Uh, Same thing with the builder. He would know this. Uh, The politician would know how to build things. and And then he realized, like, he came up with a thing that's in one of his fucking books. Yeah. Where he says, like, uh, I'm I the smartest person because I know I don't know anything. Mm. And that's a famous quote oh. from one of the... I think it's Plato or I don't something. Think, oh, yeah. I think, I think, I think, I think Good job, Stenner. Oh, you got it the out. Was, the quote is, the smartest man... He didn't say, I am the smartest person in the world because he is a philosopher, but he, he did say... The smartest person in the world is the man who knows he knows nothing. There we go. Yeah. That's oh, the quote. There we go. But we that's why he... But, 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 but that's... That meant him because that's why he went on the quest in the first place from the fucking Oracle. You're probably right. Yo, you probably, he would never, but he would never say, I you am gotta, the smartest. You, like a smart person. Is, oh, like, yeah, you yeah, got to yeah, see yeah, the smug say, look on Fox's person. face right now. <laughs> you have to see Fox's face right now. What are you thinking about all this right now? Uh, my mind's fucking blown. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. So well, you're the smart person. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here's what fucks me up. He <laughs> wins. Yeah. <laughs> Him you in the cups. Wait, I know <laughs> less than he does. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't. He got me. All I know is I don't know nothing. Fox Do you know that light. song? <laughs> huh? All I know is I don't know nothing from Operation Ivy. No, no. It's a great song. It's like 30 seconds long. That's good. Plot twist. It's about <laughs> them knowing. Is it like, better if it was a movie? Is it better than Caddyshack? <laughs> it's not a movie, but I, what do you think about Caddyshack? You're Cat- from Russia. Does it translate? Caddyshack is great. Yeah, hey, okay. You, you get, get to see titties in it. <laughs> to these translate in every language. You get to see Caddyshack as good as any strip club. <laughs> Man, a great name. Uh, can, can we agree that I Caddyshack like is a great name for a strip club? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, there, yeah. There's a strip club by me called Nineteenth Hole because it's right next. To, do you know how many uh, holes there are in golf? It's that's right a, next to a uh, <laughs> That's a caddy hack. That's right next. That's to a, a caddy hack. That's a hack. <laughs> I hate everything. I hate everything. Um, also, yeah, no, Bill Murray's great. Or do you think you're good at golfing? No, I think I, I I I know it, but I'm not, I'm 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 terrible. I played uh, a round of golf once in my life, and I hate. I had a terrible time. And uh, the only fun part was the there was a huge monsoon came down on the 18th hole. So me and my friends we just got in the golf carts and drove around in the rain, and that shit was the, amazing. That's the best part. <laughs> and, of golf. And the, then the bad, the, yeah, that's the best. That's the make best sure, part if, of you, if you go to golf, golf make sure that there's a monsoon in the way. Otherwise, you'll have a miserable time. Or just bring a lot of Duly drugs, noted. man. He just I just got something put on Dude, my I, bucket list. <laughs> Monsoon? A golf cart and a monsoon. Golf that sounds hot as shit, dog. I want to do that. Were there, that. A, lot of, were there a lot of ducks? <laughs> we didn't. We did Not during the monsoon. They all left. I think they all knew better than we did. <laughs> so they're smart. They, 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 they are smart. You know, they probably looked at us like, "What the fuck is wrong with these people? Don't they know it's raining? <laughs> Why are they just fucking driving around in the monsoon?" Uh, was Baka involved? Was Baka involved? No, well, I see that's racist. Uh, uh no, the was, was beer, but no, no, no vodka. What Russians drink vodka? Yeah, but uh, what? Why, 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 Get out of here! I wouldn't. Why no, but why you say why, yeah? No, but why would uh, you assume that that were other Russian people? I was the only Russian person uh, on, 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 on that trip. It was all Americans and me. There well, were because of you, because <laughs> of you, <Yeah>. touche. <laughs> 
I hang out. I don't know if you know. I hang uh, out. Do you golf? Nah, you, fuck that, dude. <laughs> you look quite privileged enough. Nah. You do. <laughs> I don't you go off, but I go off cart. Let me put my let me put the my color, c- the color in your shirt says you, you let golf. me put my coat back on so I don't <laughs> look you. so distinguished. Uh, you would nah, have you had me fooled. You had me fooled. I uh, definitely. Uh, I what's sh- your favorite sh- sport to play? Disc golf. Fucking frisbee oh, golf. Okay, so you do drugs. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> whatever, I'm down. What What do you do? I don't golf. golf. I don't golf. <laughs> no. No. Why not? Because uh, I don't. I don't find it fun. Golf, yes, yeah, it's super, I like golf cart. Really I like riding the golf carts. And it's Go-karts super expensive. And it's super slow, man. It's, yeah. And I mean, it, it, it's it's one of those, it's like baseball, where it's like, I don't, I don't get that. You know what I mean? Like, people are like, oh, well, it's fun because you get to be outside and you get to drink. But it's like, yeah, but like, you still have to play golf. Well, like, <laughs> can we just be outside and drink? Yeah. yeah. Without, without, I, like, I can do that on my porch. Exactly. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah at, so, least with, at least with this I don't, golf, I don't like golf, a, but I play a mean mini golf. I beat my seven-year-old most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing great. Thanks. Wait, you, have, you have a kid, dude? Yeah, I got two kids. Oh, shit. Seven and two. The, wow. the two-year-old has yet to beat him, though. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> I make sure of that. Do you cheat? Oh, yeah. That's the only way. But they need to learn. <laughs> Do you teach them about Santa Claus? Of course. Oh, I hate you. Oh, God. Is golf, a, golf is a sport. <laughs> is, is it considered an athletic sport? No. no, it's a game. Golf is a game. It's not a sport. Ooh, that's a whole Ooh. new discussion. So bowling is bowling a game or a sport? Yeah, it's a game. Is bill uh, is billiards a, I think a, anything a sport we, or a game? Anything we either have to be in a certain shape is is a game. So baseball's a game. Yeah. So so what's chess? Don't like, you got to be mental shape? That's the whole like trying to define you know what, what I mean. a sport is. We could talk for another three <laughs> hours and all leave being like. I'm the not Donald sure what a sport Trump is. Win? Like it's really hard uh, to define. Let's let's get lost in sports and games, right? <laughs> I like darts. Did you ever play darts? <laughs> darts are fucking awesome. I love Did darts. you ever? Darts are the best. Did you ever try to hit the dartboard across from the other dartboard? You know no, I, I don't mean? know what that means. So there's a dartboard. Uh. <laughs> there's a dartboard to the left. There's a dartboard to the right. And okay. then you're on the left, and you try to throw over the pool table onto the right while people are playing pool because you drank no. too much. Oh, that's, that's, that's dangerous. That sounds <laughs> dangerous. You're and not if you're skilled bag. like me. Uh, did you, did you do bag. it? Did you were you able to hit it? We win every time. Oh, sure. Bullseyes, everything. We sounds like plural. I did have well, people. Well, teams. You know, you know what's on the other end of that spectrum? <laughs> so the, the, the people, other, you understand? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, right. we're on the left side thrown at the right side. Yeah. The other team's on the, the right side thrown on the left side. And that, then there's a drunk person playing pool. That's like there's oh, high school kids that are like involved. way too good at Dance Dance Revolution on the boardwalk. <laughs> yeah. They just fucking jump over on each other's pads right, and right. shit, right? Man, you play a lot of darts. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I like darts. It's, when it's, it's darts. relaxing. When last time you played darts? That's a, that's a weird couple thing. Couple weeks ago. My that's a weird thing to get good board. at. I don't know if you want to. Do you want to be that good at darts? Yeah. I feel like if you got that good at darts, you could have put that effort somewhere else. I don't yeah, think possibly. I'm great at darts. I think I'm okay. Like I'm good compared to probably you people. But it it's just but a fun you thing. You can have do. that. It doesn't. It's a fun. <laughs> I like it. I like how he just. <laughs> Do you, like, do you not like throwing point. things? I just enjoy throwing things. Like any type of things. Baseball. Yo, I'm feeling the effect because, like, I played darts maybe four times in my funny. life, but I'm like, I feel like I could beat Chris at darts. <laughs> we can try. You know what, dude? Because that's the whole point. The point of darts, darts is you get drunk and you're not supposed to be good at it, I don't think. Like, you just get, it's, it's one of those well, like, you could things just you hit. get drunk and then, like, all right, fuck it, let's, let's go, pussy. As you, and then that's it. You're not, yeah, it's like, oh, I just have to fucking throw this. Dude, thing like, five I feel feet. like you'd be, like, the worst to drink with. Now I feel like you'd be a bomber to drink with because you'd be like, yo, let's go. Psh, I got you. And then you're actually good at it. It's like, oh, well, this was supposed to be fun. Yeah. Except, except, except we, get to, we get to watch fucking Chris show off. Yeah, you're well, hustling from the, from the <laughs> piece jump. of shit. So I no, don't know. No Maybe. matter how skilled you are, it seems like it's fun. But if you drunk every week and played darts, you'd become good too because it's just how darts work. I would find a different hobby. I'd be like, yeah, I'm getting too good at darts. It's not a hobby. <laughs> would, you, would you become gotta, good? Would you become gotta, good? Or are you just I having more fun? On. I'm getting too good at darts. I gotta move on the shuffleboard. Yeah, yeah, do something other drunk. Well, I don't know. If you're consistently bad at darts but you're consistently having fun aren't right. you, are you are then you you're, you're more fun to be with <laughs> you're more fun to be with than you, a dude who's just, really good at darts it's more about having if fun if you cannot just I have fun better you know. just dude, but fun. people around you don't fuck you it's so <laughs> about me this is my life I will not be held down by people who are good at things it's not my fault I'm great like, you know what I mean like I'm just naturally better what do you want me to do but you might beat me at darts darts is a tough game 
<laughs> but all I'm saying it's is, sport. <laughs> it is a tough sport. If you're drinking sport. beer and high, and like there's music you don't like, or there's people you don't want to talk to, it's like smoking a cigarette indoors. You just throw the darts, and people it's leave you alone. Not like smoking. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You don't get what I'm saying because you don't listen. No, it gives you something to do at the bar if you don't want to. You don't want to be there otherwise. And you can yeah. do it by yourself. And, and my buddy's place. <laughs> <laughs> so I, sad. I like being I like being alone. Like I like talking and yelling at people, and then I like going Here's the, right. and throwing things at walls. No, because right, so you go if you go to a bar, right, you see that, a guy play, by himself playing pool. But if he's really good, at it, that's that looks kind of cool. That guy is kind of cool. If you see a guy play play darts by himself, it does not matter how fucking good he is. Really, you just feel bad for them. Even dude. if he's like splitting the darts with you, the darts, right. like bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. If you saw oh, no, me, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> first off, you know me. But let's say you didn't know me. You saw a person who looked like me, just standing like way far back, just gunning darts, hitting I'd be bullseye. Scared as shit. You sound like a psychopath. If I see you, I'd be like, yo, how? You sound like a psychopath. What? <laughs> how did the homeless guy get so? Like <laughs> so I can't win. No, oh, he's dude, got all that time Stimmy, to this practice. Is what it sounds, Stimmy, this is what it sounds like. All right, this is what it sounds like. I like being alone. I like screaming at people. I like throwing things at walls. You, you don't. Weirdo. <laughs> what planet do you live in where things aren't frustrating? Seriously, how? What do you? What do you beat your kid? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, you have your kid. <laughs> I don't understand. No, I don't be my kid. <laughs> so how do you deal with I it? I throw her against a dartboard. Okay, and then you throw things. This is comedy, Alloy. Pay attention. <laughs> Why are you getting so nervous? You're from I'm Russia. I'm not nervous at all right now. <laughs> He's going to punch I'm you. Happy about this. How, how, punch this you? Said, how, how do you deal with the stress of life? How do I deal with the stress of life? Yes. Uh, I masturbate a lot. That's there fair. Yeah, you. there you go. I respect that. Thank you. <laughs> this yeah, is not playing fucking darts. Know, man. <laughs> exactly, right? It feels like family. I'm really family. good at it, too. Good answer, good answer. And I do it in bars. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, if, if I walk into a bar and I see a guy match I'm like, all right, this guy has guy, a, cool. a rough day. He's, you know, I understand. <laughs> and this is why I hate people. He could be worse. He could be fucking playing darts by exactly. himself. Why I hate people. Stanley. His standards are horrible. Your standards suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I'm, your standards. <laughs> uh, no, you do something. What do you do? You enjoy <laughs> eating food, cooking food, yeah, smoking I, drugs, uh, drinking, religion? Drinking, eating, and playing like, Video games? games? Yeah, yeah. You're uh, if I get, like, real annoyed... I'll fucking play games for like hours, just to escape reality, just to fucking tune out. But then it can that can just be a cycle in of itself because I'll fucking take it too seriously. I'll be like, oh, this duelist right here, I fuck this guy. I can't believe he just beat me in this online board game. <laughs> I'm not even playing fun, cool games, guys. I'm playing board games online. Mm. It's it's like Scrabble. Nah, I play. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a fucking dork. <laughs> uh, I don't know. No, I play, Uno Texas. Nah, I play uh, this game called Dominion a lot. Oh, I know that. It's a board game. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's what he just said. I play board games. online. Yeah, you can play it online. Uh, Scrabble's a board game too, Bino. I like Minesweeper. <laughs> Minesweeper. It's Minesweeper. Yo, how how good are you at Minesweeper? Like I'm the best. For real? I know a friend of mine is like. Wicked good. <laughs> like, he solved it in, like, 50 seconds. Uh, I'm wicked gooder. you wicked gooder? <laughs> you got that 49-second score? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, uh, you got bread to put up. Uh, you got money. Um, oh, I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna throw money, down. No, I'm not going to throw down a minesweeper. <laughs> Yo, I would throw down Dominion, though. That's Dominion. I never played it. I had the board game. Yeah, it's I very never, complicated. There's rules. Oh, you, you have heard to follow it. the rules. You heard of Dominion. I own Dominion. Yeah. I like card games. Card games are good because you can beat people. <laughs> I do like I do like poker. Poker? I'm a big That's big a fan very of poker. low skill like level space. card game. I like spades. Well, what's, well, what card games are you talking about? The, the, well, the like uh, like nerd card games. You know, like, like Dominion's a card game. Magic the Gathering's a card game. Like they, oh, they're real more skill. Okay, okay. Yeah. Not I, I like mean, Munchkin. I, I think that one's uh, nah, for BS. children. Yeah. I'm good at war. Not, not war is this. War. <laughs> war. I'm really good at war. I'm the best war, at war. War, I hate. Real war is fine. I hate the card uh -huh. game. The card <laughs> it's is, mindless. That's stupid. That's the stupid one. Yeah, it's mindless. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, like, don't worry. You're no. doing great. Just <laughs> hang in there. I'm trying, man. What, we got like 10 minutes? I don't even know. I'm going to hold on. You got, but yeah, no, no, you have to make it to, through the day. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, no, there's skill involved with poker, oh, but it's not as complicated as these other card games. No, like, I like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, if I am taking it seriously, I like poker is super uh, interesting. Like, I played in this poker tournament on uh, like a Super Bowl Sunday once, and uh, I just hated 
everyone at my table so much because they they were just being like real drunkard, ignorant people. Like, because of course it's like at like Sly Fox Brewery or something. It's not like yeah. a real casino, so you know everyone's just being really sloppy and just like obnoxious. So I'm just like zoned in, being like, oh, I, mm. I hate everyone here, and I want to beat them really bad. I get, I so get then, that. Like poker really? was super exciting, but if I'm playing like ca- like I just can't play casually because I just get bored because I'm used to stuff. Like Dominion, where it's like way more intricate, so like it it keeps my attention. Yeah, and that's the thing about professional po- uh, poker players, right? Like they they don't play like 80, they don't play like twenty percent of the hands. Yeah, so it means you just spend a whole lot of like hours just setting. Oh I yeah, yeah. in between. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's like the but you still gotta be dialed is... in too. Like that that's the <laughs> tough part. It's like you you can you can not be like playing, but you're still playing because mm-hmm. you still gotta be like. Well, you reading. just have to be redoing math in your head constantly, like oh, no, 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 no. And, and also, and also uh, looking at so and you, reading, yeah, reading, looking at other people and looking up at their parents yeah. and the whole thing, man. So it's a brutal game. Yeah, but, but it's not, it's not darts, game, but it's pretty fucking... quiet like me. You are just what? learning? Are you learning? I'm like learning all about poker. poker. I didn't yeah. know anything about What's poker. What's your favorite? Ooh, you want to play later? Yeah, let's go. What? How do you get through the life? The life? You know, just. The game of Everything. life. Oh, oh, I drink a lot. I'm a drink, boozer. You know that. Drinker. Yeah, yeah. I'm and a you boozer. You tell jokes and you just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, sometimes I wonder if I, like, uh, if I actually enjoy doing comedy or if it's just like an excuse to drink. Because mm. we all because we just perform at bars, so it's like, well, you know, it's like, hey, we, yeah, you do open mics. <laughs> and then it's like, well, yeah, it's a one drink minimum, sir. It's like, well, oh, fine, I guess I'll buy another drink. And then, you know. Yeah, because uh, if, if you went to the bar alone and drank yeah, yeah, yeah. and played darts, that'd be fucking sad. Yeah. <laughs> but if you go there alone and just yell at people for five minutes Well, that's the thing. I'm never alone. It's a bunch of other comics. That's, that's true. That's fucking, true. That's so, the biggest group of drinking alone possible. The, <laughs> 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 shout out to him. Shout out to the Joe Dockery has that fucking great joke that you know Paul Max is where yes where comics to go to drink Take alone home. together that's yeah. pretty yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. how it is it's great so that's that's what I do I drink alone with other people how do you <laughs> how do you get through um life um I just get through it I love it but what do you enjoy like you have religion God babies uh, yeah. I love living it <laughs> You're a fucking I do tool. no seriously. <laughs> you're a tool. I love it. What are you? This, fuck? So stand up. Look, this is what Since I do. Since 1969, things are bad. I love waking up, and it's like this world is like a playground for me, and I love like what do you do? Challenges. Do you like? Well, he, he's tiny. Yeah, do you what you're trying to say is he's like, really small. I, work, I, I like <laughs> I like <laughs> earning I like earning income. Mm. I like hanging out. With my friends and family, I like cracking jokes. I like doing the performance thing. I love getting through all my adversities. (laughs) All of these feel like lead-ins to the beginning of like a daytime commercial. Like I just love life. I just love love life. (laughs) I love taking on the challenges of it all. This is the worst. I'm playing. I'm playing. (laughs) I'm playing with house money. You know. You know. I've been through some. Do you wake up in the morning and be like, "Oh, I'm great. I'm so glad it's five in the morning," and God hates me? Hmm. No. No. no, no, no. (laughs) That's just me. Oh, life why is do you great. Feel, why do you think that God hates you? Chris? No, I don't believe in God. I just assume. <laughs> I was but he talk. exists. He hates you. No, if he <laughs> exists, I'm doing pretty great. Fair but enough. I was just great. putting my. I was just assuming. I was being Bino. You were just assuming that if God if God does exist, he definitely hates Bino. If God exists, <laughs> he definitely. I believe that if Bino believes God exists, and if I was, I don't know what I'm saying, but let's just assume I do. <laughs> I don't believe in God. Bino, do you? I believe God exists if I believe myself exists. See, uh, he doesn't even speak. See, this is like talking to an oracle back in the day. <laughs> they talk in gibberish, and then people are like, oh, he's smart. No, he's just speaking gibberish. Yeah. Plus, no, like like, this is so, look, that was so, half an answer, half a Descartes uh, this, quote. <laughs> 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 I am, therefore I smoke weed. Yeah, like, <laughs> this conversation will go on forever with me, Stenner. What do you think about <laughs> Bino's use of drugs too much? No, I think it's a perfect amount. Yeah, he seems happy. Yeah, I can't. Him. I yeah, good for you. You're happy. Yeah. I hope that makes you That's happy. How you gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be terrible if his happiness made him sad. <laughs> that would I'm be... stuck in this infinite happiness loop. <laughs> I can't stop yeah. smiling and praising Allah. Yeah. Are you Muslim? If, if you see, if you are you Muslim? See, Am I Muslim? You're an Israeli. I'm Jewish. <laughs> so I am, also, Jewish? I am also. I am also. I watched though. Yeah, also. not the sequel. Like, prequel. No. So you're <laughs> on. <laughs> that's a really smart joke. I'm a lapsed Muslim. You're a lapsed Muslim. Yeah, that's gone great. For I only you. go on holidays. <laughs> are you? Cri- that's 
I I'm, like I'm clueless. Clueless, Christian, atheist, clueless. Mexican, there you go. agnostic. Agnostic? I'm agnostic, I guess. I don't know. I guess. Um, I'm, I'm, See, I'm to shit. the point where I don't even care. If I, I don't think about it. It's whatever. It's who even cares? if I saw proof, there's something out there. I wouldn't believe. It. No, there's something. Yeah, there's something. It's not all random, but who gives? I don't. I, I don't know. I, think, I, like I care. disagree. I, I think <laughs> people, if they were, you think it's all random? Describe me. They would think I'm an under. There's too many patterns. Person. Patterns, so to me, Yo, man, patterns are just like the way we can understand the universe. <laughs> there we <laughs> go. There we go. <laughs> Things just work a certain way because if not, they wouldn't work. It doesn't mean that there's a creator. Like, look at evolution. It doesn't mean it's not. No, Neither. it doesn't. But if I had to bet, but it's, I would it's... bet against it. And our brains are programmed to believe in nonsense. That's uh, just how it works. Uh, our, yeah, our, our brains, brains are programmed. I've seen shit that, <laughs> that should make me believe in ghosts and things. But I also don't trust my own brain. So I All don't. Right, there Does you that go. make sense? Look, yes, absolutely. So we know like, that's why I'll never be an agnostic. Right. Because like I could even see <laughs> God could come down and talk to me. And I'd be like, wow, I'm never doing <laughs> acid again. No. Like, that was too much acid. No. But the, maybe the concept right. yeah. of God is something that we can't conceptualize. I'm done with talking about God. <laughs> He's getting upset. No, I we we yeah running out of time, so I want to get into like plug in plug. Um, what do you do? Where can people see you? Who uh, are we, you? I am uh, Brian Durkin, and uh, I have a podcast called Full Belly Laughs. Uh, comes out every Tuesday. I have hey. comics over for a meal, and we play board games. It's so. a great show. It's fun. Yeah. You can play games. I like games. I love his podcast, by the way. Uh, I thank had you. to pickle. I had the pickled um, foods episode. Yeah. What's, what's her name? Uh, Amanda Pfeiffer. Amanda Pfeiffer. And, uh, Shout out to Amanda Pfeiffer. Yeah, she was really dope. She brought over all these like fermented vegetables and uh, cauliflower. It was really tasty. Bino was actually being like, re- like <laughs> it was. He asked the most important questions out of everyone. He was like the best interviewer. Like, no, for real. Stop. Yeah. No, you are. You were, <laughs> he gets yeah. Told you that's my BFF. <laughs> yeah. right there. He was asking Tell stuff you. that like, like I wish I. Could like, I was smart enough to ask, like, what, I, like, I what trained is, him well. I trained yeah. him good. Like, he was like, clearly. what is miso? And I'm like, I really don't know what that is. <laughs> what is Thank miso? you for it. I don't remember. You got to listen it's to Full Belly Laughs. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a soybean soup. Um, huh? it's a soy I don't bean. mess with that. All right. Um, <laughs> Go, uh, anything Mike, else what you got you're doing? doing? Oh, yeah. uh, FullBellyLaughs.com and for all the social medias, I'll be at the Fit uh, Black Friday Comedy Marathon with that. And, uh, yeah, just, just that. Um, yeah, yeah, check that out. Full what are you doing, us. Andrew? Uh, the Crapulent. That's a podcast. It's a podcast. Wildfire. It's on Wildfire every Sunday at eight thirty, and then it's podcasted, and you can listen to it on iTunes and shit. And you like doing that? Oh, it's a good show. You enjoy it? You seem so happy and motivated. Yeah, yeah. it's the only thing that I got going for me besides <laughs> masturbating and maybe my kids. Oh, well, yeah. he's doing great. Uh huh. Motherland. What do you got going on? <laughs> I, uh, That's I'm, a Russian I'm a, joke. Sure, yes, not again. Um, no, are you sure? I know that you're slow in Russia. No, I'm kidding. That's mean. Northeast, I meant. What? I'm just keep insulting you. <laughs> I, I, but you're not even insulting me, though, properly. I'm trying at least my insult best. me properly. I'm mad you didn't bring the vodka. Why? I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm mad I didn't bring the vodka. <laughs> uh, I'm a big-time New York comic. Uh, if you if you have any listeners in New York, I, uh, I'm i doing uh, shows out there. I'm doing a show tomorrow in Bushwick at the Platform. I'm doing a show on 16th at Lovecraft. I'm doing a show in Philly at Le Etage on November 19th at Comedy Underdogs. It's a really great show. And I'm going to be part of uh, Black uh, Friday Comedy Marathon up uh, here nice. in Philly as well at The Fit. So look up those things. They're all on Google and uh, Internet. And uh, check <laughs> me out. Yeah. Bino, what are you doing? This. <laughs> Uh, every Tuesday night. This delinquent life. This delinquent life. Nine thirty every Tuesday. We got the live show at Good Good Comedy Theater every uh, first Wednesday of the month. I got a bucket list comedy open mic. You know, first and third Sundays at Doobie's Lounge, twenty second Lombard. I will be at the Black Friday Comedy Marathon. Yeah. So check us out on the internet and things. Uh, and the uh, LaughCast app, you can watch things. Uh, if you have an iPhone, there's a thing for that. And if you have a Google phone, there's the Play Store. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can do that. And then there's other shows. On Sunday, they got this show, Jim Corn Show. Check that out. He's a cool guy. He talks about things. It's great. It is. Shout out to Jim Corn. You don't look like you believe me. Believe me. I believe you. <laughs> and thanks, everybody, for listening. Check this, us out. This is the Lincoln Live. Live and stuff. Thanks. Yeah. Woo.